Hi, I'm Scott Onetto with the University of California Cooperative Extension, and today I'm in San Andreas, California, where I'm observing a uh, vegetation burn being put on by CAL FIRE. Uh, CAL FIRE has a program called the VMP program, or Vegetation Management Program, where they can assist local landowners for doing control burns to uh, control vegetation, but also to uh, do other objectives or goals. And one of the objectives out here was to not only create a defensible space for the town of San Andreas, which is just over the hill here, but it was also to control a noxious weed or a couple of noxious weeds here on the property. Behind me, you'll notice that some of the hills are a grayish blue-green color. This is the dreaded yellow star thistle. Yellow star thistle was introduced back in the middle 1800s as a seed contaminant from Europe. Since that time, it has spread across much of California and now infests nearly 15 million acres across the state. There are several control strategies that can be used to control this invasive plant, including grazing, mowing, herbicides, and of course fire. Research has shown that fire is extremely effective at controlling yellow star thistle at the early flowering stage. By burning at this stage, we prevent yellow star thistle from making additional seed for future year's growth. Because yellow star thistle plants only live for a single season, preventing the plants from making new seed is a key to eradication. Seeds in the soil can persist for 10 years, but most of them are gone within three to five years. By preventing yellow star thistle from making new seed for three consecutive years, you too can rid your property of this horrible plant. To give you an inside perspective of how this is done, I'm here today with CAL FIRE as part of their vegetation management program, where they assist local landowners with not only vegetation management and creating defensible space for communities, but also to control noxious weeds. Today, we are at PAWS, the Performing Animal Welfare Society, which is a large animal sanctuary here in Calaveras County. The sanctuary is home to some of the world's largest land mammals, including elephants, bears, and several types of large cats. Yes, including tigers. It is imperative that the sanctuary has defensible space for these large animals, but also it's beneficial to remove these noxious weeds from the lands they roam. To give you a glimpse of the VMP process with CAL FIRE, it all starts with contacting your local CAL FIRE department and discussing your specific situation. Once the initial paperwork is filled out and they conceptually approve your project, there are numerous visits from several CAL FIRE agents. Once this is done, then you wait. They wait for the perfect time to conduct that burn. The morning of the burn starts off with a briefing with all personnel. Everyone helping with the burn must be present. It truly is a community project. Not only is CAL FIRE here, but often local city and community firefighters are on hand as well. For this project, we are also fortunate to have the Pine Grove Conservation Camp here to assist us. This is one of several fire camps across the state that support state, local and federal government agencies as they respond to emergencies such as fire. The briefing is thorough. I feel as if I'm at an incident command post. Everyone is at full attention and reviewing the document in detail. I feel as if I'm watching a well-oiled machine getting ready to be deployed into battle. These VMP projects have so many advantages. I already mentioned the fuel break for the local community and the noxious weed control, but just as important, these are used as a training. Training is vital for keeping these fire personnel safe during emergencies, so getting the opportunity to fight a fire in a controlled environment with adequate resources gives these firefighters the tools they need to fight the next big fire. Once the briefing is over, everyone loads up and we drive off to the site. As if they had done this hundreds or thousands of times before, everyone knows where to go and what their job is. Some are grabbing hand tools, others have radios and various gear, some have backpacks full of water, while some have instruments for monitoring weather and all sorts of other things. Everyone is super quiet. Only the sound of a slight breeze as it moves through the grass can be heard. As firefighters begin to get in position, a few clear a small area, about the size of a car, where they then light it. 
They watch intensely to observe the fire. I'm assuming they are looking for the rate at which it consumes the vegetation, but also the direction at which it burns. Once they are happy with the wind direction and the path of travel, they put fire to the ground. Again, very little discussion, just everyone moving in unison as if they were just one person thinking and everyone reacting. One of the key strategies for burning yellow star thistle is ensuring that you have adequate fuel to carry a fire to kill the plants. Because yellow star thistle matures later than many of the desirable grasses, we can use this difference in maturation to our advantage. Once the desirable grasses have flowered, made seed, and then those seeds have dropped to the ground, we can then use that dry standing vegetation as the fuel source to kill yellow star thistle. Because yellow star thistle hasn't yet made seed, we don't need a super hot fire. We just need temperatures high enough to boil water, which causes the cells in the plant to rupture, ultimately killing the plant. As I watch the fire move across the landscape, I have to say, this is probably the best weed control I have ever witnessed. Because they burned against the prevailing wind, the fire moved slowly and very thoroughly consumed all the vegetation in its path. I'll be revisiting this site this coming fall and winter and will be sure to show some follow-up pictures of the site. For more information about yellow star thistle control or to learn about the CAL FIRE Vegetation Management Program, visit the links below.